everybody, this is Victor Leva, aka Megastar Andro from FigureRealm.com and Andro6657 from eBay. Uh, made a little uh, tutorial video for you guys on um, how I make custom action figures. Um, so any beginners out there kind of uh, at a loss, hopefully this video will help them. So, how to make a custom action figure. Step one. Um, what character do you want to make? For this tutorial, I'm going to be making my friend Steve DeMarco. He's an indie wrestler, and he has his own YouTube channel. Uh, check out his videos, they're really good. And um, uh, we're going to be making him. I've made him before, so that's why I decided to uh, make him one more time. So, um, selecting the base figure. Um, here we have two action figures. They're both uh, wrestlers, also. And they make really good bases that uh, I've noticed. And they fit in with uh, all the other wrestling action figures if um, you make indie wrestling action figures like I do. So I have uh, Lance Cade's head and arms I'm going to use on uh, this Mikey from the Spirit Squad's body. Always, always wash your action figures, whether you take them right out the box or you get them from garage sales or flea markets. I get a lot of mine from flea markets. So that's a great way to uh, find them. Always use soap and I always really scrub them with my purple toothbrush right there. Make sure you um, get all the joints, um, especially if it's if you take them right out the box. Make sure you definitely want to wash those guys because um, they have like a, a spray coating of oil on those action figures so that they move correctly. But you want to get that off, definitely. And um, went ahead and uh, took the head off of them just so I can get a good look future Steve DeMarco action figure. Alright, this is going to show you how to drum a hole in the side of a torso, crack it open, take those arms out, the white arms out, and we're going to put these uh, flesh colored arms, and yeah, those are the white ones, we're going to take them out. And uh, here's the things you're going to need to crack a torso open, you're going to need a screwdriver, even those pliers, um, anything you really want to use um, to uh, and uh, maybe two screwdrivers. I usually use two screwdrivers um, to show. Um, and this is um, my handheld Dremel. It uses a charge. You charge it up and uh, plug it back in to get the power. So that's a little thing that comes out. And this is a ball bearing looking little. It looks like a little ball bearing with um, blades on the side of it, basically. It's great for like hollowing out. Um, different things. You want it right below the armpit. See this is a one that uh, I show you have done before. That shows you how to well, I think actually Poc sixty three gave me this one. But um it just shows how to um, there's one I had on hand so I, I I know what they look like on the inside when I crack it open so the arms are going to fit once we uh take them out because they're the same type of figure made by the same uh brand. But uh before you start, always wear your safety goggles, safety glasses. Always. So here we are. Um, about to show you. Sorry about some of the camera angles on this. And um, I just had a little X on there. So I was going to show you where you need to drill. And uh, there's me. And um, dribbling right in there, the sides. I mean, go ahead and drill big enough because we're going to seal those back up later. So um, make sure you go ahead and drill big enough so you can crack it the whole, the whole thing open. And it's going to take a little while. You can uh, heat up the action figure uh, torso to to make it more pliable if you wanted to. Um, it's going to take you know some working at it. So use a little, <laughs> a little uh, strength there for that. Definitely, and uh, but it's something you're gonna get. You know, you're gonna get better with it at, at time, and um, with time you, you're gonna get better at all these things. But um, this is uh, just showing you some basic techniques. And there are the arms. I got those arms out, and um, go ahead and remove the arms, same way from the other action figure, and just um, uh, once you have those other arms out. 
should have this torso cracked and um, you can kind of see it right there have ha the back half of the torso with the uh, with the arms in how I want them and uh, on all the parts that don't the only you're only going to super glue the parts that do connect and uh, make sure you, you leave the uh, make sure the parts are still uh, flexible or still movable so that you didn't like uh, super glue all that back together so you're going to put super glue just on the parts that are connecting with the torso and that should uh, go back together pretty good with practice and um, this is Abe's epoxy sculpt it's um it's um the only one I've ever used so uh I stand by that one I've used some um the um, mighty putty stuff but it's it doesn't work for for this type of thing you definitely need uh the good stuff like Abe's epoxy and uh I heard green stuff's pretty good too or Abe's fix it they also make another thing called fix it which are just also pretty good too but um, just grab a little equal amounts, put them together, and uh, just mix them, mix them very well together. You can uh, make like two little, I kind of flatten it out and then kind of twist it together. And that's the white brand, and that's the white color of the Fix the Sculpt. It comes in different colors, and, um, and you can usually find that on eBay or the, the Aids Epoxy has their own. Uh, website where you can buy that at too. So I kind of roll it to a little, into like a little uh, hot dog or a snake to fill the and just kind of stuff it in the sides so to just fill it up the cracks. And that's one side and then I'm just showing how it's just slide it on in there and it will fill up and then smash it in there. And once again this is just the way I do this. Uh, I know there's um, I mean, I, I, I might change in the future. I know there's other people who do uh, different things, different ways. But um, this is just, you know, mine. And um, I haven't really seen too many how to make action figure um, videos, so hopefully this one will um, inspire other people to make more videos. People who are a lot better than me at making uh, action figures uh, will hopefully post videos too. So this is me just uh, sm using little um, sculpting tools to just uh, smooth, in it, smooth out the uh, epoxy so that it kind of just fits in with the, uh, with the uh, shirt. And there we go. It's all sealed up. All on the sides, you can use a little safety solvent and uh, smooth out that. And now we're going to... Um, Go ahead and sculpt a beard on Steve DeMarco's face. Because Steve DeMarco does have a beard. And uh, this Lance Cade figure, how much it looks like Steve DeMarco does not have a beard on it. So using the same epoxy sculpt um, that we made earlier, as I still had some left, uh, still had enough to use to make this beard. So um, I just kind of roll it again into that little snake, little tube of um, of, of clay, and then just kind of mold it on there in that little tube just slightly slightly um, fix that on there and um, just kind of giving it an outline first and then uh, we'll go back and uh, add all the details and that's usually how I like because I like to see how it sets up first before I start going in and, uh, and putting finishing touches on that and that's the uh, safety solvent in the background right there that I um, that I used to, um, not much. And there, there's the um, piping outline of the um, beard I put on Steve DeMarco. It looks uh, pretty rough. So um, I'm just going to grab my uh, sculpting tool. And um, you can use water too. Um, they both work just as well. But um, since I did buy the solvent, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use it. <laughs> so. Uh, Go ahead and just uh, dip your tool in the solvent every once in a while, slowly and um, carefully, just um, just marking, kind of flattening out some of the uh, the the uh, tube, the out clay there, and uh, adding a little finishing touches on it. And um, there's a lot of cuts in this video. It did take me a lot longer 
then like ten minutes to do all this. <laughs> so, um, so don't be, don't feel rushed. I mean, I'm, I'm making this video, um, editing this video for for time allowance on eBay. Or I mean, excuse me, on YouTube. So, um, so don't don't rush. And there it is, sculpted beard on Steve Marco. Just adding a little bit more touches on there. And um, I guess it's going to be a two-part video. So, let me make the next part.